News's Greg Jarrett. So talk us through that because we're hearing the guns are bought legally. Right. We're not so, so clear about the ownership of the long guns originally, right. but we're also hearing that California has extremely strict gun laws. So tell us a little bit about how this all comes together. The guns that were used were semi-automatic rifles, uh, which are perfectly legal in the state of California. In other words, every time you press the trigger, it fires one round. What is, and usually 10 rounds in a clip. That's, the, that's part of the law. Right. What is illegal is to turn them into assault weapons, which continue to fire when the trigger is depressed and they have more than 10 bullets in the magazine. That's a high capacity clip. As you know, that's illegal in the state of California. So turning it into a fully automatic weapon. Exactly. An assault rifle is what they generally call it. But yes, fully automatic weapon. Here's the thing. Manufacturers are allowed to build them that way with what's called a bullet button. That is to say, you take the tip of a button, you press uh, of a bullet, you press a button, and it turns your semi-automatic legal weapon into an illegal assault weapon. And apparently, that's what happened here, except it failed when the killers tried to do it. So you're saying they had to alter the weapons that's right. in a way that would make them illegal? That's right. So that's something else to watch. Talk to us a little bit about the weapons that they had. We're talking about the sales of those weapons.